What an incredible final run. I also want to say thank you to everyone who's been with us all day viewing, but that finals, impressive. The auctioneers, the ringmen, and the teams really arrived with such enthusiasm, salesmanship. The auctioneers' chants were just, the rhythm, the clarity were just incredible. Folks, I cannot Lynn imagine with... having to be one of the 12 judges to decide who this year's champion's gonna be. Well, and I think that's what's gonna make it so interesting when we go see actually who won this competition. First off, uh, Charleston Auto Auction did a wonderful job with set what? aside a special consignment just for the finals, for all the competitors. And with the format that they have set up, this is the first time that all 12 judges got to see every one of their competitors. That's right. And I really think it's gonna make for an exciting finish. And what's incredible about that, six of the judges on each side, it was their first time seeing the competitors exactly. during the finals. So that really is exciting to see how this plays out in the end. I also want to thank all of the employees here at the auto auction and the volunteers. It's really been a tremendous day. And of course, I need to say thank you to the NIEDA for making this possible and NAAA. And now it's time that we throw it back to Paul Bear to see who our champions for 2019 are. Where's she at? Ava Stewart, come on up here a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, Ava Stewart is 11 years old. She's been an auctioneer for four months. This is her debut, and she's going to sell this teddy bear for St. Jude. And here we go. Ava, take it away. All right, I'm at 25 now. Who will give me 50? Now 50. Now 75. Now, yes, yes, now 100. Yes. Now 125. 150. 150. Now 175. 175. Now 2. Now 200. Now 200. Now 200. Now 2. Now 3. Hundred, all right. <laughs> I'm bid two now three hundred now four now four number four hundred. I'm bid three now four hundred. I'm bid three now three fifty. I'm bid three now three fifty. I'm bid three now three fifty. Three now fifty. So lead to you three. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm at three, now four, now four, now four hundred. I'm at three, now four hundred. Er, never mind, I got it wrong. I'm at four, now four fifty, now four fifty, now four fifty. I'm at four, now four fifty. I'm at four, now four fifty. Salute it to you, four hundred. Better number. Good job. Good job. I'll get you a check. Oh, okay. Hey, folks, listen. Ava is the daughter of international champion auctioneer Jill Marie Wiles and Tim Stewart, and this is her debut. And you know, you did a great job of selling that teddy bear to Laura for $4,000, I'll tell you that. And folks, do you agree with me that if Ava's in the contest, she might be the champion? What do you think, huh? Well done. Well done. Will you give that to Miss Laura? Ladies and gentlemen, a few housekeeping chores. I want to recognize some folks that are in the crowd today, and I didn't do it this morning because some of the folks were competitors, and we want to be fair to everybody. Eli Detwire, 2010 IAC champion, where are you at? Eli, congratulations, and thank you for being here. <laughs> Joseph Mass is an international champion auctioneer. He was here earlier. Is he still here? Peter Garrison, international champion auctioneer. Peter, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. <laughs> folks, um, uh, Tim Rioder is here. He's the great, reigning Greater Midwest Champion Auctioneer. And uh, he is there right here. <laughs> Folks, um, uh, Gail and uh, Jerry and Gail Burke, where are you at? There are patriarch and matriarch of the championship right there, coming down from Pennsylvania every year. <laughs> Folks, uh, I want to thank uh, Paul, uh, Paul Meadow RV, they, the RV that Suzanne and, uh, or Dana and Suzanne used. Uh, they loaned that to us and didn't charge us a dime. They were really, really good to us and because of the relationship they have with this uh, auction. Ladies and gentlemen, um, there's, someone, there's someone here, uh, a man, wearing a dress and high heel shoes. And after the auction, if you would, give them back to Diane Moravec. She lost her luggage and they're Diane Moravec. Diane, we'll try to get them back to you as soon as we can. Uh, folks, uh, right over here, is just one of the best auctioneers and best human beings the good Lord ever put on this earth. It was Archie Moody, and he was the matriarch of South Carolina auctioneers. 
Archie uh, has, uh, uh, passed away a couple years ago, but I understand his wife is still living, and his son-in-law is here someplace, Jerry. I don't know where he's at. Maybe he left, ba way back there. But um, uh, you South Carolina, Carolina Southern auctioneers, did you all know Archie? He's a great guy, wasn't he? Wonderful, wonderful man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, John Timmy is here. John is a two-time reserve world champion auctioneer, and he's in the crowd someplace back here, I think. Dustin Taylor is a five-time world champion ringman. He's here. Yep, Phil G is in the crowd over there. And uh, Nathan Troyer, where are you at? Nathan, thanks for being here. Bye, George. Nathan's an up-and-coming auctioneer. <laughs> Folks, over here is caps. And they're not from here, but they're caps that, I, that I've, I've had through the years. Contestants, anybody, take uh, caps. Please take them home. Uh, they've been, been in my storage shed for <laughs> some of them four or five years. Also, you finalists, see those boxes over there? They're padded boxes. And so when you receive one of these, crist uh, one of these crystals, you can take them home and you can, uh, they'll, they'll pack in your luggage. And you won't be like Woody Woodruff that uh, puts them in his regular luggage and they crack and I got to get him another one. So I, mean, I just want to tell you, that's all. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, if you were a finalist in 2018 in the teams, would you stand up? Last year, finalist, right there. Look at all these finalists. If you're a finalist in auctioneer, ringman, or auctioneers, and they come back again each and every year, we appreciate you being here. Folks, the next order of business is, if I can find it, um, the next order of business is, I'd like to ask Laura Taylor to come up. Stand in front of the fan. You know, um. So you know what this little girl said to me when she what? said, I'll stand? She goes, I thought it was 400. I said, it was. <laughs> well, tell, tell everybody that. When she handed me the teddy bear, she said, I thought it was 400. I said, it was. <laughs> she thought she got 4,000. Then I'm not going to make you the champion today. You've still got a little bit of go to be an auto auctioneer. Okay, kid? Uh, we're, we need to stretch him out sometime. Ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, Laura Taylor and Charleston Auto Auction, we've had a lot of fun. Laura said, uh, Dana said, Paul's a lot of fun. Laura said, win, because uh, she didn't see it sometimes. Uh, Laura Taylor and the Charleston Auto Auction haven't been good. They haven't been very good. They haven't been excellent. They've been absolutely over the top, superb. Each and every one, you, you notice, folks, the, the drivers, uh, the folks that were working here, the personnel that was in the ring, everybody was 100% in every way. And I've got a couple of uh, plaques or whatever to give to Laura, but Laura, before I do, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. On behalf of, how about a contestants, what do you think? Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Jason Mortz, Andrea Driggers. I gotta point these two guys out. My whole team is phenomenal. Uh, if you surround yourself with good people and you treat them right, they'll do the best for you. My team has done 200%, so everybody here deserves a trophy. But let me tell you something. These two people right here, not that the rest of my guys are not great. This is the one you've seen running back and forth here. I don't know if you noticed, getting the fan, running back and forth. Andrea Driggers, best operations manager around. And Jason Mortz, the best AG around. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jason, will you stay up here? Where's my assistant? Ava, Ava Stewart, come on up. She's my assistant. Ladies and gentlemen, this says in appreciation, Laura Taylor, 2019 World Automobile Auctioneers Championship, Charleston, South Carolina. Carolina, thank you. Hold on, hold on. Jason Moritz, on behalf of the World Automobile Auctioneer Championship, thank you very much. Do you have any words of wisdom for it? Uh, I'm a little worried I'm going to get sold this for $4,000, but I'm going to get off the stage quickly. No, thank you guys. Great, great event. Thank you for coming.
Hey, Laura. And this is the host auction. Um, well, I was going to give to Andrea. Oh, Andrea, where are you at? Andrea. Okay. We're going to move this over. My assistant, Ava. Ava and I want you to know you're not getting paid for this, okay? $4,000. I'm going to ask everybody to come up that way and go down that way, so I've got a little room to work. Um, I'd like to ask, first of all, um, we've got some other, other ones here. Alan M. Pink, Nicole, Kim, come on up here. Myers Jackson, come on up here. Okay, and where is world champion Casey Enlow? Come on up here because... Uh, Casey will be saying a few words in a few minutes. Come on up here, folks. Myers put his, pardon? Okay. This is Myers Jackson. Myers, thank you very much for all your good work. And put that in a box and take it home. Semper Fi. Alan M. Pink, where are you at? I need Nicole and Kim too, please. Thank you very much for the great job you did, mister. Oh, my pleasure. Hey, um, uh, folks, the scoring is so much easier than it used to be because of this man and his team. Kim, Kim Douglas, thank you very much. Where's Nicole Pirro? Nicole is not here, so we'll do that later. Yeah, would you give that to her? Absolutely. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay. There you go. Oh, that's the NIADA crew. Tim Swift, come on up here. Come on, run like a jackrabbit, Tim. Michael Morashlian. Here's another one, young lady. Next is Reed Mullen and Eve Rojas, and I've got one for Mike, but uh, I'll be getting that. She's going to give you one right there. How about a round of applause for Tim and his crew? Now, okay, could you hold it? Okay, now Tim, stay up here for just a second. And then there's Eve, which one's Eve? Now Eve and Tim are the on-air hosts. How many think Tim is the better looking of the two? Raise your hand. How many th think Eve's the better looking of the two? Raise your hand. Eve won by one vote, by one vote. Okay, would you give this to Reed Mullen and the rest of them? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like the judges, 13 judges to come on up here and receive your trophies. Now, um, uh, a couple of you are gonna, re a couple of them are you gonna get them in the mail because uh, Frank Hackett was gonna be a judge and he had to go to a funeral. And come on up, folks, right on the stage here, if you don't mind. Okay, first one, Ava, is for Charlotte Pyle. Find her and give it to her, please. Where is, uh, where's, Casey, come on over. We gotta get grip, Gip and Grip. Grip and grin here. There you go. Where's Laura Taylor at? Come on, Laura. You're on one side. Casey's on the other. You notice how Casey put his arm around her and stuff. And hey, Laura, uh, hey Charlotte, we got to do another one. There you go. Look at there. I wouldn't mind to have one of them myself, but I'm not going to. Uh, I hate to be in this Me Too movement. I kind of hate to ask for one. Uh, now you're fine. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Jackson, come on down here. Jim Jackson. Comes Jim on a dead run. Thank you, Jim Jackson. Come on up and receive your trophy, please. There you go. Right in the middle. Michael P. Ryan, come on up here, please. Michael P. Ryan. Joseph Geyer with Odessa, come on down here. Ava, can you read this one? Uh, that says mommy on it. It says Jill Marie Wiles, 2001 international champion auctioneer.
Ladies and gentlemen, Judge John Swafford with America's Auto Auction. Um, Judge Tony, Tony Long. Judge Tony Long, past NAAA president. Thank you, Mr. Long, for being here. <laughs> Matthew Jennings, Judge Matthew Jennings, come on up here, please. Judge Je Matthew Jennings. Ladies and gentlemen, um, um, Judge Jane Morgan, come on up here. You can, ho you can hold that, and then... Did John leave, John Swafford? John, John Swafford didn't work out, ladies and gentlemen. Casey said we had to let him go. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Judge Patrick Brennan, Senior Vice President of Mannheim, Atlanta. Judge Jeff Bailey, please. And Jeff, if this looks like somebody else's name, it's because it is, and you'll have one right there. But grip and grin for now. I'll be getting you one. There you go. And uh, Jeff, would you just hand that to uh, Chad, your nephew, Chad? Chad Bailey, come on up here. And, um, and uh, Jane Morgan and Jeff, uh, they replaced us. Uh, so we'll get those uh, two folks up. Uh, a plaque, please. <laughs> okay, and last but certainly not least, it is oh, Rich Curtis. Where we're going next year, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see at Mannheim, Mannheim, Dallas. Is, did John and Tammy have to leave? Did they? Okay. Um, we'll uh, mail that COD to them or something. Something like that. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. I, no, 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 no. We're far from being, being done. Ladies and gentlemen. This is a sport. Uh, there you go, David. I'm sorry. This is a sportsmanship award. And the sportsmanship is uh, given to the person that uh, the world champions, in this case, uh, Casey Enlow and the other world champions that weren't here, uh, uh, deem that did a great job of exemplifying sportsmanship and fair play and helping uh, other auctioneers today and without uh, um, uh, consideration of themselves, always thinking of the other person. And this year, the 2019 Sportsmanship Award goes to Big Dave Roberts, everybody. Thank you, Big Dave. Folks, it, for, and be sure and stick around after the award ceremony because Casey and Big Dave are going to wrestle to the finish. Uh, the best, the last man standing. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rising Star Award exemplifies a new and up and comer. And there's one thing that's kind of interesting about it. And there's a lot of you folks that are Rising Star recipients. There's a lot of them over there. And by the way, if you're a rising star, a sportsmanship winner, would you guys let us know if your name is not on the board? For some reason, I didn't get the names from Scotty Gray and uh, through the years and stuff, and we're short some names. I know we are. But the 2019, oh, by the way, the last thing that the Rising Star Award represents is that this auctioneer someday 
could be a world champion automobile auctioneer. And this year it goes to um, Dustin Bradford, ladies and gentlemen, from down in Texas. Dustin has volunteered to Casey. You couldn't hear it down here, but he's volunteered to help Casey wrestle Big Dave uh, to help him. Whatever you got to do. Thank you very much. Somebody that... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we move on to the teams, I'd just like to say one thing. The championship would not be here the 31st if it wasn't for the foresight and the origination of someone that was an excellent, excellent forward thinker, and that was Bob Reed and Punjo Reed, and his son Ron is here, and we thank Bob Reed, your dad, for starting the championship 31 years ago. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have the eight uh, teams come up here, please, and uh, come on the stage, and, uh, and we are going to go from eighth to eighth to there's no ties this year okay everybody there's no ties so take your ties off I guess is that what that means come on up fellas come on up step up in the front be recognized you guys did a good job and you know something folks I've been in a lot of competitions and sometimes I've come in first very very few times most of the time I didn't come in first. But there's, you know, people say, well, you know, um, if you don't win, that's, that's not such a good thing. But this championship and every championship, we learn and we have fellowship and we have fun. And then we wait for next year to see each other again. And so... Ava, this is uh, Ringman finalist, and this is auctioneer finalist. So you give those two to the. To <laughs> Dana, I need you here. Okay. Would you just hand me one at a time? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your team uh, in eighth place are Ron Reed and Nick McMinchin, right there. <laughs> give them to Casey. Thank you, thank you. Grip and grin. Hey, Ron, Ron and Nick, go ahead and get a picture. There you go. Give that to him too, please. Thank you. Now, what's this here? Okay, but we want to make sure that we... No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But let me give him to you. Hey, you guys, did you each one, did one of your uh, plaques say auctioneer team and the other say ringman team? You okay? What? what? Yours says ringman and his says auctioneer team? You just got one? Did you get one team, Mitch? Did you get auctioneer one? You can give that to Mitch. And this is for you. Huh. How about you? Oh, never mind. Okay, we're on track now. There's your next two, young lady. One says Ringman, one says team. In seventh place is 
Brian Burke, Devin Chen, come on down here. Give them, give them to Casey, please. You're doing a good job. Okay. You like this? Yeah, I don't know who's the ring man or the officer. You don't need to, just Casey will get it. Place. Sixth place, ladies and gentlemen, goes to Mike Shackleton, Marty Hill. Mike Shackleton, Marty Hill. In fourth place, or excuse me, in fifth place, ladies and gentlemen, goes to Wayne Wheat and Landon Waddle. Uh, give, you, will, you, will you make sure Wayne gets it? Okay, and then you got some boxes over there you can put them in just so they won't break. Ladies and gentlemen, in fourth place, Woody Woodruff, Dave Roberts, Sr. Ladies and gentlemen, in third place, and that's runner-up world champion auctioneer and uh, ringman team, it goes to Cody Shelley and Michael Steele. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in second place, reserve world champion auctioneer and ringman team goes to Angie Meyer and Sean Hagler. Stay up here for just a second. WAPA Pass President Peter Garris, would you come up here for the presentation of the buckles, please? Ladies and gentlemen, WAPA World Automobile Auctioneer Championship graciously uh, uh, buys uh, two buckles uh, for, the, uh, cha for the champions. Oh, we got we to gotta announce them first. Here you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I wonder who it is. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 World Automobile Auctioneer Champion Auctioneer and Ringman are Blake McDaniel and Chris Elliott. Right there they are. Make sure they get the right one. Okay. Laura, come on down on this end. Go ahead and push down that way just a little bit, and you'll get a good, good photo. Thanks, Ava. You're doing a great job. Hold on. Stay where you are. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition to the um, nice trophy, uh, glass trophies, is a check for $2,500 for Blake McDaniel as a ch world champion ring, uh, auctioneer team, and 2500 for Chris Elliott. And if you could hold those checks for a couple weeks, I'd greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Till, 
The next presentation is Peter Garrett. All right. On behalf of the members of the World Automobile Auctioneers uh, Professional Association, we'd like to present you with these commemorative belt buckles. Auctioneer, thank you guys. I know you're both big supporters of WAPA. We appreciate it. Thank you guys. Hold on, fellas. Just for the record, this is Blake McDaniel. And this is Chris Elliott right here. Thanks, fellas. Congratulations. Well, well done. Well done. May we have the finalists for the 2019 World Automobile Auctioneer Champion, Ringman, please come on up. You folks that have been around for a while, hasn't it been, uh, isn't it nice to be at this time of day instead of 1030 like we were in Boston years ago? Courtney, raise your hand. Did you see Courtney clerk that last lane of auctioneers? She changed her name to Jane, but Courtney is a uh, Judy, I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, and, and uh, folks, uh, are you ready? Here is uh, Ringman, you know, six for the finals and then one and two. Because we've got a team, and, and you can go on up there if you want to. Ladies and gentlemen, in eighth place, 2019 Ringman is Zach Massey. Ladies and gentlemen, in seventh place, 2019 World Automobile Auctioneer Championship is Matt Hart. Don't forget, there's there's padded boxes, folks, that uh, are from Crown Trophy, and don't 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 be like Woody Woodruff. I tell you that right now. This is uh, sixth place. Is a gentleman named Josh Hickey from Wisconsin, I believe. In fifth place, ladies and gentlemen, Big Dave Roberts. Right there he is, in fifth place. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, in fourth place is Chip Jones. Chip Jones, come on up. Thank you. And third place, ladies and gentlemen, is Grayson G. Grayson G. That's runner-up world champion auction, uh, auctioneer or uh, automobile ringman. And ladies and gentlemen, here is your 2019 reserve world champion automobile ringman. It goes to Michael Steele. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 world champion automobile ringman from down in Texas is Landon Waddle. There he is. Jill Marie, she's doing a great job. Wonderful. Landon? Ah, I forgot to. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. First time coming out. I appreciate the auction here. I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you so much. Bring him up. Bring him up. Hey, Landon, hold on just a second. We've got to do another grip and grin. Where, where is it? Sorry, let's step over here. No, no. Not, hold on just a second. There, step over this way just a little bit. Landon Waddle, you got a check for $2,500. There it is. Yep. Hold on there, Landon. we got something else for you. On behalf of members of the World Automobile Auction Professional Association, present you with this championship ring. 
Uh, we support Ringman, and we're, we're glad you, you did a great job and going to be representing us this year. Thank you. I need Blake McDaniel back up here and Chris Elliott. We forgot to take a picture with these two checks. Blake McDaniel, where are you at? Come on up here. Blake's already back there tipping a bottle of whiskey back there celebrating. Figure, get it in the intravenous. Would you say Chris Elliott's had a pretty good year this year and last year? I mean, you know. Um, thank you. Thank you, Blake McDaniel and, and um, Chris Elliott. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, would the 15 auctioneer finalists please come up and make your way to the stage? Hey guys, while they're coming up on stage, I want to tell you our total today. We ran over 1,250 cars and we sold over 700 of those units. So, good job, guys. Good job. Come on up. Just do your best, fellas, uh, if you can. Uh, we'll move down here a little bit. We'll move down here a little bit. And uh, Casey will kind of, would you, Ava, would you go help Casey a little bit with those a little bit? Just go ahead and stand in back of him. You'll, you, there you go. Doesn't Casey and Ava make a nice looking couple, ladies and gentlemen, right there standing next to each other? What? Brandy's right there. Brandy's right there, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, in 15th place, uh, finalist is J.J. Wise from down in Iowa. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, in 14th place, finalist is Mitch Jordan down in Arizona way. I need to see, um, ladies and gentlemen, in 13th place is Eli Detweiler from down in North Carolina. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, in 12th place is uh, Pennsylvania auctioneer Paul Storm. this 11? What, what was he, 12? What? In 11, he was 12. In 11th place, ladies and gentlemen, from down in Montezuma, Georgia, is Tim Yoder. By the way, Tim is the uh, reigning Greater Midwest Livestock Champion. He went from Georgia to Minot, North Dakota, ladies and gentlemen, and when he got up there, he bought three pair of long johns immediately when he got off the plane. In, in uh, tenth place is Jonathan Timmy from the great state of Nebraska. <laughs> Don't forget our four champions. I need, uh, Myers needs to take some photos as soon as uh, this is over, so please come back on the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, in ninth place is Tommy Bellamy. Ladies and gentlemen, in eighth place, auctioneer from Wisconsin, Josh Hickey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in seventh place, Joshua Puffenberger. Right here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, in sixth place is Josh 
Mayhew, come on down here. In fifth place, ladies and gentlemen, from the great state of Texas, Angie Meyer. In fourth place, ladies and gentlemen, is Woody Woodruff. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, runner-up, world champion, automobile auctioneer, third place is Michael J. Chambers, New Hampshire. Folks, uh, folks, um, anyway, Dana orchestrated this and uh, to do like the Academy Awards. So until I open this envelope, I don't know who was second and who was first. But uh, the, the two finalists, would you come up and stand here? Now, this is a little bit like Miss America. If we find anything in either one of your backgrounds uh, that, uh, you know, if we find out you crushed beer cans on your forehead in college or anything, that's a, that's a plus around here. And ladies and gentlemen, as we always say, then there were two. Hey, well, all right, sir, here we go there, what are they going to give for? Oh, I have a $600 down here, now 10 and now 25 and now 35 and now 50 and now 60, will they give me 60 now 75, 75 and now 85 dollars on the bond there? There was a boy in Arkansas. Ladies and gentlemen, the year 2019, Reserve World Champion, Automobile Auctioneer from Nebraska, Matt Moravec. And, um, you know, folks, um, I'm going to ask someone uh, to, before we present this, and I forgot to do this a little bit ago, and I apologize for this. Would you step up here, and we'll just let Cody wait for a little while. Sure. Come on. Start? I want you to tell us um, your departing remarks as 2018 world champion auto auctioneer, and I was going to do it before they came up, so I apologize, but then we'll ask you to present this check and trophy to your buddy, uh, Cody. Well, guys, it's been a great year. Uh, I was honored to be able to serve as an ambassador uh, for our industry. Um, words, can't, words can't express what I got to do this year, and it meant so much to me. Something else that means so much to me is giving this check to Cody. So those are my, those are my remarks. Thank you so much. Welcome you new 2019 world champion. Okay, there's there's that. There's a check for $5,000. Laura's going over, and she and Cody are going, or Kelly or uh, Casey are going to take a photo, and Peter's going to make a presentation of a ring. There it is. All right, Cody, on behalf of the World Automobile Auctioneers Professional Association, presents you with this ring. World Champion Auctioneer. I know you're a big supporter of uh, our association. We thank you. It's been a pleasure working with you, getting to know you through this contest, and we know you're going to wear this with pride. Congratulations. Step up here, please. What are your thoughts right now, sir? Yeah. First of all, all honor, honor and glory to God. Um, I, don't, I don't feel worthy or deserving of this. Casey had to come 18 times. 
before they let him win it. And he's taught me so much. Um, I've had a lot of great mentors. My mom and dad are home watching right now. Never been in the auction business before, but they just put me in good situations all throughout my life. They never let me be in a bad situation. And just no matter what I did, I always was in a good situation. My wife's at home taking care of my little girl that's been sending me videos all day, my little boy at home. I stopped in there and grabbed a bag, got to Tulsa because I was going to catch the 6 o'clock flight and get here at midnight, and I got to Atlanta at midnight and rented a car, and I got here at 5 this morning. So it didn't go as planned, but I got here. I've had so much help in this business, and everybody's been so giving. Uh, the first person was John Gary Collins, and, and he's an unbelievable auctioneer. Him and Casey have been detrimental in my career. Uh, I've met so many unbelievable people here, and um, I was just going to go home. Um, and, and then I got to thinking that uh, I just wanted to see everybody. So this means so much, especially coming from Casey and coming from the people that have won it in the past, and I thank each and every one of you very much. So ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the 2019 World Automobile Auctioneer Championship. Be sure and watch the 2019 World Livestock Auctioneer Championship. Be sure and watch the World 2019 International Champion Auctioneer Championship. And by the way, if you have are not, how many people are here are NAA members? Raise your hand. Oh, so many people. If you're not an NAA member, please join the National Auctioneers Association. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next year in beautiful Mannheim, Dallas, and Dallas, Texas. You are excused. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen.